Of course, it had to be a remote private island in the middle of the ocean. An eccentric millionaire, his trophy wife, troublemaking ex-con brother. And who knows who else there is. All of them stuck inside an old castle turned into a modern villa, with a dead body washed up on the beach. Not the kind of case I'd expect to get with a new rookie partner, but hey, we're in this together now. The report says it's a suicide. We should be able to wrap this one up quickly and get back to the mainland by morning. All right, let's go. Inspector, before we head inside, we should go through the case files together, just to make sure we didn't miss something. We left a bag with the files in the plane. I'll see if I can announce our arrival. The buzzer is broken. I couldn't get a hold of anyone. How about those files now? All right, I think we covered everything. Let's see if we can fix that buzzer. Greetings, inspectors. I'm Henry Bradford, and this is my lawyer, Mr. Alexei Tarkov. Welcome to my island. Please, call me Alexei. We spoke over the intercom, Inspector. We hope you'll finish your investigation quickly, so we can put this tragedy behind us, and hopefully avoid any unnecessary publicity. Through the doors and into the backyard. We found poor Mark on the beach below the cliff.
If you spot anything worthwhile, take a photo of it. Here's an instant camera. A flashlight will do for now. Time to get our hands dirty. Let's start with the body. Look what I found. A bloody earring stuck in the fence. I doubt Mark wore it. Let's discuss the case once we know more.
This was not an accident after all. We have a murder on our hands. And a time of death too. Let's go and talk to the residents. We have to take everybody's statement and check their alibis. The killer might be among them. Hello, Mr. Tarkov. My partner and I have suspicions about this case. It might not have been an accident after all. Do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions about Mark? Horrible. Well, surely that can't be. Well, but of course, please, the inspectors, ask away. Well, I did some chores around the house, I fed the snakes, and did some important legal accounting for the company. I finished sometime after nine o'clock. I met him when he came to work here. He had a professional background in security. Perfect for this job. He was a good man. Over time, he became like a member of the family. Uh, yesterday, early in the morning, he came in for tea. After that, I didn't see him for the rest of the day. The next thing I knew was when Edward rushed in, yelling that uh, poor Mark was dead. One more thing. Is there anyone who can confirm your alibi? When I finished the accounting work, I gave the papers to Richard and went to bed early. That's all, Mr. Tarkov. Thank you for your cooperation. Well, thank you, Inspectors. If you need anything else, I'm at your full disposal. Inspectors. Richard Jones, I presume. Can I talk to you about the death of Mr. Mark Spector? We suspect his death was not an accident. It wasn't? Oh, no. Please, I'm at your full disposal. Anything I can do to help, just say the word. Nine? I was right here, stargazing with the telescope. I was hoping to catch a comet passing by. They say the sky is the clearest just before a storm, but sadly, no luck. I got him this job! He was a decent guy. We met in Wales while I was on a business trip. I went to a bar, got into some trouble, and he helped me out. If he hadn't been there, I wouldn't have this pretty face anymore. <laughs> I'll miss him. And now you say his death might not be an accident. I just can't believe it. Yesterday, during lunch, we had a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Alexi makes the best one. After a bit of small talk about our hobbies, we went our separate ways. Who can we confirm your alibi with? I spoke with Henry when he finished working in his study. A bit later, Alexi came and gave me some company legal papers. That will be all, Mr. Jones. Thank you. You were very helpful. If you need anything, inspectors, just ask away. I want my friend's death resolved.
Inspectors, how's the investigation going? Unfortunately, Mr. Bradford, it appears your employee was murdered. I was watching a rugby game with my brother and his fiancée Grace in the guest wing. It's one of those rare brotherly traditions we still keep. He worked here as a guard. Besides that, we didn't really have any special connection. My wife always said he was a good guy, though. And what of your wife, Mr. Bradford? Where is she? My wife? Well, to be honest, she and I had a fight. She left for the mainland two days ago. I'm sure she'll be back in a few days. She just needs to call off. I don't know how to tell her about Mark, though. I saw him yesterday morning. I went to tell him to finish the repairs on the island model in the foyer. Patricia damaged it during the recent fight we had. He never got to fixing it, though. One more thing. Did you see Richard last night? Yes. When I was passing the lobby, he appeared to be stargazing and filming the sky for one of his many astronomy collections. That is all. You were of great help. I hope you get to the bottom of this quickly. I had to pull some strings with the commissioner so this doesn't get into the press. Please keep that in mind. Good evening. I'm afraid we have to interrupt you to ask a few questions about Mark Spector's death. I can't believe he's gone. Poor Mark. He deserved better. When I found him, I, I supposed it was an accident. With the questions you inspectors are asking, I'm starting to have doubts about that. I joined Edward, and we watched his favourite team play. Henry was unavailable, as usual. I wanted to watch the game with Henry, but he only came in after the first half. <laughs> I was surprised he even bothered to show up. We were all right. He wasn't my best friend or anything, but he was a good, decent worker. He was such a happy character. You'd never see him frown or be mad about anything. He was always positive, making his little figurines and smartening this place up. I'm not sure. Uh, yesterday around noon? Something like that? I saw him when he went to take the Broken Island model in the foyer. That was the last I saw of him. You said Henry was unavailable? What was he doing? Well, he and Patricia argued quite vocally last night. That's why she left in the morning. Why else would she leave so suddenly? Uh, they argued, well, often in the last couple of weeks, didn't they? She didn't seem happy lately. That will be all for now. 
If we need anything else, we'll let you know. We should probably confirm everyone's alibi next. This is it, partner. She was there on the night of the murder. Let's talk to Henry about his wife. I'll get the lights.
This is bad. Another murder, and we're nowhere near solving the first one. Let's search the crime scene, see if we can find some clues. Look, partner, a secret panel. Maybe it's connected with what happened to Henry. We'll need the chief and the forensic team to get involved to sort out this mess. I'll call for backup from the lobby. Come get me if you find something important. The storm's too fierce. Backup won't get here until it passes. We'll have to do what we can till they arrive. All right. What do we know so far? We already concluded that Patricia was a witness to Mark Spector's murder. But now we know more. The ransom notes suggest she was kidnapped, most likely after the murder. These two crimes are almost certainly connected. If we can find Patricia, there's a chance we'll find the murderer as well. He couldn't have left the island in this weather. Start from Henry and Patricia's room and look for clues while I secure the new crime scene. Strange. Their bedroom's just through the guest wing.
The evidence you found suggests that Edward was probably the last person who saw Henry before he was killed. Right now, he's our prime suspect. We should interrogate him immediately. Find him. I'll join you when I finish securing the crime scene. We don't want to miss anything here. Take this. I found it under the couch. It might be useful. I want out of here, right now. Honey, calm down. It's not safe to fly in this weather. The helicopter might crash. It's not safe here. I want to get off this island and never come back. As soon as the storm dies down, we'll leave, I promise. In the meantime, I'll prepare the helicopter. Don't go now. I don't want to be alone. Please, try to rest a bit. You'll feel better. I'll be back in no time. Inspector, we weren't expecting you. Please, do come in. You'll have to excuse me. Grace is quite upset by all this. I have to go upstairs and try to calm her down.
Where have you been? I have our suspect in custody, and it seems he's refusing to cooperate. Alexi confirmed Edward had a fight with Henry in his study, moments before we arrived. He has a motive and was placed at the crime scene. We might as well have his confession. Time to talk. Mr. Bradford, we're sorry to inform you, but your brother's been murdered. My brother's dead? How? What? What happened? You're a suspect in this investigation. We're here to ask you a couple of questions. What are you talking about? I haven't had a drink in five years. Don't lie to us, Edward. We found your whiskey in Henry's study. You had a drink with him before you killed him. I'm not lying. I got my sobriety coin a couple of weeks ago. I would never harm my brother. He was drugged. Lionheart. Everybody loves Lionheart. I can't imagine anybody would want to harm that dog. He always barks cheerfully when somebody passes him by. My fishing outfit. I haven't worn that since I went fishing with Alexi. That was two years ago. We saw the recording of you breaking into Mark's guardhouse in your yellow raincoat. That wasn't me. I even lost the key to the, to the shed where I keep my fishing gear a couple of days ago. I had no access to it. It'd be wise for you to tell us everything you know, Edward. It would be in your best interest. I know Henry had a secret safe inside his study with a hidden panel. It needed his handprints and a password to open it. The password's probably his date of birth. He used that for all his passwords. Maybe there was something in the safe somebody wanted. You should also check Mark's room. He was very resourceful. Maybe he had access to the safe. Any ideas who might want to frame you? Assuming you're actually innocent. I have no idea. I've never had any problems with any of the residents. I hope this will make the matching handprint. What did you find, partner? Strange. 
These look like a set of boat keys. A boat with Patricia's name on it. There are docks on the other side of the island. It could be there. Through the foyer, out to the garden, and then down the path to the old docks. According to the island maps, that is. I'll look for Richard, and you should search the boat. We don't have any better leads right now.
That was never meant to happen. Please take me home. I need to apologize to my husband and tell the truth. I'll confess to everything we did. The fake kidnapping, the ransom, Mark's death, stealing Henry's medallion, everything. You found a missing wife? Excellent work, Inspector. It's about time we found out what she knows. We got you now. It would be best for you if you came clean. I'll try. Alexei killed him. It wasn't meant to happen. It was an accident. Well, Alexei and Mark got into a fight when Mark didn't want to let us leave, and somehow, Alexei pushed Mark over the edge. Alexei and I wanted to scam Henry for money and run away. But Mark found out about it. Alexei took me to the lagoon to hide until we got the ransom. But things got complicated when you arrived. I was afraid he might hurt me as well. So I fled to the lighthouse. What? My husband's dead! I was after his money. I never wanted him to die. Patricia Bradford, you are under arrest for obstructing a police investigation and murder. You don't have to say anything. However, it may harm your defense if, when questioned, you omit something which you later state in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Unfortunately, he got away from the island by stealing our plane. We'll deal with him later, though. This gets Alexei off the hook for Henry's murder. Killing Henry wouldn't have gotten him the ransom money. Anyway, that leaves Richard as our new prime suspect. Time to talk to him again. He should be in his guest room. It's right through the guest wing and the library. If you're going after Richard, this may help you get around. It seems Richard's locked himself in his room and won't stop babbling about something. We need to find another way to get to him.
You need to understand, Henry didn't listen to me. I received death threats. The casino mob wants my debt paid. 
I think they already killed Mark and took Patricia to warn me. My life was at stake, but Henry kept rambling about Patricia and blaming me. I, I never meant to hurt him. you find What did you find? Why didn't we realize this sooner? It was Richard all along! Help me, please. Richard left and took Edward with him. Richard dropped this during the struggle with Edward. I don't know how important it might be. 
Please, inspectors, bring Edward back. I'll calm Grace down and make sure she's safe before I meet you downstairs. According to the island map, the helicopter pad is just beyond the garden. We need to be careful. Richard, don't do anything rash. You already have blood on your hands, and you don't want more of it. Step back, or I'll shoot! You better shoot me now, otherwise I'll... Edward, calm down, and don't say anything. I just want to get out of here, and Edward is the one who can fly me out. Don't try anything stupid, Inspector! It's not safe. The storm is too violent. Let Edward go. He can't help you. But I can. Look at me, Richard. I can help you. Trust me. One more step, Inspector! And he is dead, too! Calm down, Richard. Everything's going to be all right. Stand back! I will shoot him! Just do it already, you coward. If you don't let me leave, you are both going to die. Calm down, Richard. Everything's going to be all right. Stand back! I will shoot him! Calm down, Richard. Everything's going to be all right. Stand back! I will shoot him! Just do it all... If you don't let me leave, you are both going to die. Calm down, Richard. Everything's going to be all right. Stand back! I will shoot him! I just needed some money to pay the debt. 
just a little loan. I was in danger, but he didn't care. He just didn't care. Someone wise once said there's plenty in the world for man's need, but not for man's greed. 